Hey, I hope everybody's having a good night so far. I am uh, taking opportunity of this chicks hatching. This is the hand that I had with with uh, with Vlad. Uh, the one I have in the video, in the sequence of videos of how to create your, your bloodline. And she got on, she got broody on me, and she was laying on some eggs for about t uh, for about ten days. No, I'm, I'm sorry, for about three days, three to four days, and I let her, I decided to let her um, hatch them, incubate them. Once these guys get of age, I'm going to put them in a brood pen and take them away from her. What I'm going to do after that is I'm going to, I wanted to take an opportunity uh, to, to kind of tell you how to, how to prepare your hen, your brood hen, uh, and... Well, how, how I'm gonna go about preparing my brood hen here. This hen here, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to pump out as many eggs as I can from her because I'm trying to select some birds out of out of her and uh, and and this rooster here. Um, that one's not the same one, no spurs. It's another one, green sit tie. But anyways, let me take you back to it. So how to prepare your hen to, uh, your brood hen to lay a, for the breeding season. Uh, I'm trying to get a close to 100 chicks out of this girl. Now that's gonna take me a long time. I might not finish it all during this, uh, this season, this breeding season. Uh, I might have to wait till next breeding season, but it's okay. Now they're all gonna be different ages. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one. Like I said, she beat me. All I wanted to do was pump the eggs, have her pump the eggs out and then get her ready again. So the cycle of a hen is clutches of seven uh, of a uh, 12 to 14 eggs. So each hen will lay around 12 to 14 eggs, and then she'll either lay on them or she won't. Now these hens are they get broody a lot. They're really good brooders. I mean, really good uh, brooders. Yeah. So. When that happens, what you can do is you can just take out all the eggs away from her and put them in the incubator. But then, sometimes, you know, to try to stop the broodiness, but a lot of times these hens will still get broody, even though they don't have any eggs, just because it's in their genes. And that's what happens with this hen. So, what I'm going to do is take all the eggs away from her, take all these chicks away from her, and we're gonna treat her as, as we're gonna think of her as, think of these chicks as uh, chicks that I hatched in the incubator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chicks away from her once they're a little older than this. And the hand is gonna take some time. She needs to get ready back again. She needs to get uh, back in breeding season again, breeding uh, mode again. So a hand will lay 12 to 14 eggs that's their cycle. Then they'll typically get broody or they'll keep on laying. But a lot of times they'll stop laying. Uh, and that's not always the case. 12 to, 12 to 14 eggs is not always the case. You can also have some hens that can lay up to 20 eggs. I had that happen. Uh, but this hens here normally is 12 to 14 eggs. So you, what you do is you take those 12 to 14 eggs. I have three incubators running. I'm gonna put those 12 eggs or 14 eggs in the incubator okay so then she uh, she'll stop laying for about a week sometimes a little longer so what you can do during that time is you see this girl is tired so what you can do is get the eggs oh no I know what's happening Put them in the incubator. She's gonna need about 10 days, 15 days, to give her a good rest. Uh, you take the eggs away from her. She'll stop laying. When she stops laying, or when she when you when she shows signs of getting broody, you take the eggs away from her, and you leave her by herself. No rooster, just her by herself. Make sure you keep up with her water. Make sure you keep up with her feed, her feeding uh, times. Make sure you give her plenty of food. Now, this girls, I give my birds. Half a cup a day, but if she can eat more, that's that's good for me. Uh, then I also like to add a little bit of uh, coconut oil in her feed every once in a while. Uh, 
once a week or twice a week just to kind of get her ready and get her build her up again once she's done uh, resting she'll the hen will start calling the rooster they'll make this clucking noises they'll walk around making cluck, clucking noises and uh, you'll know they're very distinctive once you start seeing signs of that uh, clucking once she starts clucking and calling the rooster you can put a rooster you can put her back with the rooster or put the rooster in her with, with her or wherever she's at and uh, you'll see her she'll squat down and and let the rooster do his thing and then you repeat the process she'll lay 12 to 14 eggs take them away from her and take the rooster away from her obviously have her rest for about a week a week and a half and uh, then she'll be ready ready for it again every time she hatches every so, so creating bloodline can take some time especially with the back breeding uh, because you're only using I mean you could use multiple hands but I'm only using one um, and so yeah that's the that's the cycle of a chicken of a hand so it's 14 eggs take them away from her should be good to go thanks for watching guys have a good day